Good morning, time for your health check. You know, it is International Overdose Awareness Day. You might say, hmm, Sonia, why do we have a day for that? Well, every day more than 130 people in this country die after overdosing on opioids. That's morphine, heroin, oxycodone, more and more, right? On and on. People are trying to come up with solutions to save lives. So a new technology, for instance, developed at University Hospitals in Ohio helps to determine if a patient should go home with opioids. It assesses their risk for addiction. Here in North Texas, as we told you about earlier in this newscast, at Texas Women's University, researchers found a chemical in a native Texas plant that appears to stop pain without causing addiction. Until then, Narcan is one way that ER doctors and first responders are treating an overdose situation uh, in an emergency. Basically, it quickly reverses overdose by restoring a person's breath. The medical name for this stuff is naloxone. I'm here with Dr. Casey Green. He's the medical director from Greenhouse Treatment Center in Arlington. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Okay, so how does this stuff work? So what naloxone is, is a medication that comes in and it essentially blocks your opiate receptors. Yep. So it will kick heroin, uh, oxycodone, morphine off of the receptor and it can often rescue a person from a near fatal overdose. Okay, and you can get this stuff from your pharmacist directly. You don't need a prescription for it. In Texas, we have standing orders for naloxone, meaning that anyone can go to a pharmacy and ask for it and be given the medication without a prescription. Okay, and how much does it cost? Because I've read everything from like 130 to $140 for two doses. Is that around accurate? That's about right. There, there are two, there are really three major forms of it. There's an intramuscular injection that's relatively inexpensive, about 40 to $50, but it has to be drawn in a syringe and given. There's a, uh, I, uh, there's a nasal spray formulation, which is... Uh, so that's cheaper. That's cheaper. It's about $70 a dose. And then there is a auto injector that uh, this, the auto injector um, is a little expensive. This one is around $2,000, but there's a generic version available for around 200. Okay, and Medicare, Medicaid covers this? Covered by um, all commercial insurance and Medicare and Medicaid. So this stuff lasts 30 to 90 minutes, is that right? Uh, it, and often it'll only last about 30 minutes, so it is important if Narcan or Naloxone has been administered to uh, still seek help and yeah. still uh, call 911 and get help. And so basically we know how the nasal spray works, but right. this one you just take out and it's sort of like an EpiPen, right? Can right. you show us? Sure, I'd be happy to walk you through it. So you just take it out. Yeah. This trainer contained two inject place black end against outer so it walks you through right. it and then you Five, press four, that's it okay three, this is really important you guys two, so greenhouse one. treatment center is going to host a narcan Injection training this afternoon complete. they want all of us to know how to administer narcan because look just like cpr if you're in a situation where you can help why not right so this training I'm talking about is at 4 p.m. at the Greenhouse Outpatient Center in Arlington. You'll also have a limited amount of Narcan. We will have some Narcan samples okay. to distribute. Okay, let's talk more uh, on I Am Stilla 